Hi everybody, this is Andrew from Launch27 and in this video I'll give you a quick overview on how your customers can log in to their customer self-service account. So first off, um, this is your login page. It usually has a URL like this. It's going to be the name of your company dot launch27.com slash login. And this is how your uh, anybody who needs to access your account, meaning your staff, your customers, or your teams, this is where they go to log in. So here I am, this is my customer email. I've entered in a password and I click sign in. Now, if your customer or any user has not confirmed their account yet, they need to do that. And what we do is we'll send them an email with a special link that they need to click to prove that, hey, this is my email address and yes, I am this person. And from there, we'll ask them to create a password. So if your uh, customer is not confirmed yet, we will show them this little pop-up and all they need to do is click send me a confirmation, send confirmation right here. So I'll click that and then I will show you what the email looks like and I'll show you how to activate the account. So I'll click this and I'll be right back. Okay, here I am in uh, my email inbox and what you're looking at here is the email that we sent. You'll notice that I actually have two emails here and uh, this was completely by accident. I did not mean to send myself two emails, but hey, it happens. Now, what's important to know is that every time you uh, send an email or request that uh, you're, you know, send a confirmation or send me a password reset, we create a brand new link. So you can see that these two links are actually different. Now, the reason why we do this is so that uh, Every time you do it, we need to make sure that, hey, a fresh one gets sent because to reduce the, the security risk and all that. So what you always want to do is click the most recent link because that's going to be the only valid one because once we create a new one, the other ones become invalid. So you can see here that the one got, that got sent at 10.11 is the most recent one. So I'm going to click this one and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay, once you click the confirmation link you're going to get sent to this page. It says, thanks for confirming. Please enter in a password. I'm just going to enter in my password here right now. And once you enter in a valid password, this account button, create account button becomes um, valid. So, I mean, enable, so you just click on that. And then you get taken to your sign-in page where you will enter in your email. Now you can click sign in. That is what a successful sign in uh, looks like for the customer or a successful login. So um, another thing I wanna show you real quick is, uh, so if I log out real quick, right, we get taken back to the sign in page. Now if your customer ever forgets their email, I mean, ever forgets their password, or anybody ever forgets their password, just click on forgot your password, or if they're emailing you saying that they have problems uh, resetting their password or logging into their account, you can just copy and paste that link right here. Copy that and then send that to them. Or you can just tell them to go to the sign in page and click on forgot password. So, bye. Enter your email. And then they'll send us a forgot password email. Click on that. And once they do that, they'll get another email that looks very similar to the confirmation email. They just click on the link and enter in a password and then they'll get taken to the sign-in page and can log in from there. Uh, just again, uh, remember that if they accidentally do this several times, they need to click on the most recent confirmation link. And we explained that here in this little green pop-up. And that's about it for how customers can log into their account. If you have any questions, please let us know at support at launch27.com. Thanks.